Barbara Walters. When you hear that name, you instantly think of a trailblazer in the world of journalism, a woman who broke barriers and set new standards for what it means to be a reporter. She was a pioneer, a woman not afraid to ask the tough questions, and who gave us some of the most memorable interviews in television history. Sadly, Barbara left us December 30th, 2022. She died at her home in Manhattan at age 93, her final years marked by a struggle with dementia. While her public persona was larger than life, there were many aspects of her journey that remained shrouded in mystery. In this video, we're going beyond the headlines and the well-known facts. Facts First presents, Barbara Walters died last year, now her affairs come to light. A glimpse into her dating history. Barbara was a woman of many facets, and her romantic life was no exception. She had a series of relationships that were as high profile as her career. One of her notable relationships was with Merv Adelson, a TV producer who was a significant figure in the entertainment industry. Their relationship wasn't just a fling, it was a meaningful connection that had its own set of complexities and nuances. Another significant relationship was with U.S. Senator Edward Brooke. Brooke was the first African American to be popularly elected to the Senate. Their relationship was a well-kept secret, hidden from the public eye for years, breaking the silence on her affair. In 2008, Barbara Walters did something she hadn't done before. She opened up about her relationship with U.S. Senator Edward Brooke. This affair took place in the 1970s and was kept under wraps for more than three decades. She described Brooke as exciting and brilliant and revealed they both knew the risks involved. Public knowledge of their affair could have been career-ending for both of them. A friend even warned Walters about the potential fallout, urging her to end the relationship. The affair was a complex chapter in her life, one she chose to keep private for years. It wasn't just a romantic entanglement, it was part of her life that she had to navigate carefully, balancing her public image with her private desires. An affair with Richard Pryor? Just when you thought you knew everything about Barbara Walters, a new rumor surfaces. Sherry Shepard, former co-host on The View, recently reignited rumors that Walters had an affair with comedian Richard Pryor. This rumor was initially spread by comedian Paul Mooney, who claimed to have walked in on them. While Walters never publicly confirmed the relationship, she did speak warmly of Pryor in past interviews. She described him as more than a comedian, hinting at a deeper connection. Pryor had been interviewed by Walters multiple times in the 70s and 80s, and their warm interactions over the years add fuel to the speculation. The complexity of her relationships Barbara Walters was a complex person, and this complexity extended to her interpersonal relationships. Sherry Shepard, who once viewed Walters as a mentor, described their relationship as complicated but nurturing. Walters was tough on Shepard, pushing her to excel in her career. This tough love was a hallmark of Walters' relationship, both professional and personal. She had the ability to form intricate relationships that went beyond the surface. Whether it was with colleagues like Shepard or the men she was involved with, Walters had a knack for connecting on a deeper level. Other secrets from her memoir. Barbara was a woman of many layers, and her memoir, Audition, peels back some of those layers to reveal a life filled with complexities. One of the most striking aspects of her life was her difficult upbringing. She grew up in an environment filled with tension in the air, according to psychoanalyst Joyce Ashley, one of her closest friends from youth. Her parents weren't like any others, and her father was a mysterious figure who fell on hard times in the 50s after opening several nightclubs that failed. Walters' older sister Jackie was thought to be quote-unquote slow, but may have just been autistic, adding another layer of responsibility on young Barbara. Her memoir also dives into the behind-the-scenes drama that unfolded during her time on The View. For instance, Star Jones, one of the co-hosts, underwent gastric bypass surgery but kept it a secret for four years. Walters and her co-stars were put in a difficult position, virtually having to lie for Jones when she claimed her weight loss was due to portion control and Pilates. Walters also revealed that Jones used her position on the show to promote businesses in exchange for free services for her wedding, which eventually led to her being cut from the show's hosting cast. Her last words were recently revealed. Barbara's final words have been revealed in an excerpt from her forthcoming biography, The Rule Breaker, The Life and Times of Barbara Walters, by USA Today's Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page. 
The biography is scheduled for release next spring and includes the first look at Walters' gravesite, where her final words are etched in gold lettering. They read, No regrets, I had a great life. This simple yet powerful statement encapsulates the essence of a woman who broke barriers and lived life on her own terms. These words serve as a fitting epitaph for a woman who shattered glass ceilings and became one of television's most prominent interviewers. Her career spanned five decades, during which she was interviewed by some of the biggest names in the world, including Fidel Castro, Margaret Thatcher, and every U.S. president and first lady since Richard and Pat Nixon. With 12 Emmy Awards to her name, Walters remained an executive producer of The View and continued doing interviews and specials for ABC News, even after her final TV appearance in 2014. The Woman Behind the Interviews Barbara was best known for her probing interviews, but what many people don't know is that she had a unique approach to preparing for them. She would spend hours, sometimes days, researching her subjects, going beyond the surface-level facts that were readily available. She believed the key to a great interview was understanding the person sitting across from her. She would delve into their past, their motivations, and even their fears. This meticulous preparation was her secret weapon, allowing her to ask questions that others wouldn't dare. It wasn't just about getting a scoop, it was about revealing the human behind the public persona. A Passion for Philanthropy While Walters' career was in the spotlight, her philanthropic efforts often went unnoticed. She was deeply committed to various causes, particularly those related to education and healthcare. She donated generously to her alma mater, Sarah Lawrence College, and funded scholarships for aspiring journalists. She also supported medical research, contributing to institutions focused on heart disease and dementia, the latter being a condition she battled in her later years. A Love for the Arts Another lesser-known facet of Walters' life was her love for the arts. She was an avid theater-goer and had an extensive collection of modern art. Her Manhattan home was adorned with works from some of the 20th century's most renowned artists. This love for the arts wasn't just a hobby, it was a passion she nurtured throughout her life. She believed art and culture enriched her understanding of the world, giving her a broader perspective she brought into her work. It's no surprise that some of her most memorable interviews were with artists, musicians, and actors, as she had a deep appreciation for the creative process. Private Struggles While Walters seemed to have it all, she faced her share of struggles away from the public eye. One of the most significant challenges was balancing her career with motherhood. She adopted her daughter Jackie in 1968 and raised her as a single mother. Juggling the demands of a high-profile career with the responsibilities of motherhood was no easy feat, and Walters often spoke about the guilt she felt for not being as present as she would have liked. Despite the challenges, she maintained a close relationship with her daughter, who has often spoken about the profound influence her mother had on her life. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Barbara Walters? Let us know in the comments section below.